Hey everybody, I thought I would make an update video for the myhouse.wad file that a number of people have been trying to play. I last did an update on this right around one year ago, and this has had a couple of different changes. So let's go ahead and go over what you will need to get started with this in 2025. So there is a couple of files that you will need to download. The very first one is you will need to come over to this Google Drive and download this myhouse.pk3. Now, this was the same exact place of the original author of My House and where they put that. I will link this in case you want to read through this down below. But the only file that you will actually need is going to be this one right here. Now, the next thing that you will need is Z. Doom. Now, where a lot of people got tripped up with this in the past was, was that they went to zdoom.org and then they grabbed the very latest version. And with this version, it actually introduced some breaking changes. Now, I went ahead and I verified that over on that Doom thread. And what was reported back was there was a change in GZ Zoom that broke backwards compatibility due to a vulnerability involving array types in Zscript. So this has to be fixed by the mod developer. And just so you're aware of what happens if you run the current version, and it says myhouse.pk3 zzip line 75 cannot convert to name. Now it's gonna be really, really easy in order to fix this because what you will need to do is to use the older version of Zdoom. And so if you go to this location, you will be able to come right over here and you will be able to download 4-10-0. So this is the one for Windows 64-bit. And then there's a couple of other versions down here. Now, the current version that they have on their site, which is 4.14.0, is not compatible. And then the last thing that you will need to get is the doom2.wad. So you'll just need to come over here, show all files, and then download the doom2.wad. Now let's see what we've got. We've got our doom2.wad, we've got the myhouse.pk3, and then finally we got gzdoom, and this is again very important, 4-10-0. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this and I'm just going to extract this into the root of this folder. So I can simply come right up here and I can go to extract all. I'm currently using Windows 11 and I believe Windows 10 will work just as well. And I'm just going to extract mine to this root folder right here. And there it goes. Okay, and there is where it has extracted them to. So again, this has just been extracted into this folder right here. Now we need to take the doom2.wad and then the myhouse.pk3 and let's copy them into this folder. So let's just go ahead and highlight both of them and we're gonna go copy. And then I'm just gonna go ahead and paste those in this folder. Okay, so now we are ready to launch the game. So if you followed the instructions, it should work just like this. So now go over to where you see the myhouse.pk3 and just drag and drop it on top of that GZ Doom. There it goes, and there is the game. And one quick parting word here is that the Doom2.wide file that I had here, this is the shareware version. Now, the, what I have played so far of the game, this does not matter whatsoever, but if you do have problems, you know, you can always do a search for the full version of Doom2.wad, and that should clear it up. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.